The Teams Premium Add-on License brings a whole new set of features to Microsoft Teams. In this video, we're going to take a quick tour of those features, take a look at how you can get more information, and walk through the initial process of adding Teams Premium licenses to your environment. So let's first jump into the Teams Premium product page to get an overview of what it adds to your Teams licenses. The Teams Premium product page is the home for all of the latest information related to Teams Premium. And if we scroll down past this video, you'll see that there's a nice breakdown of the features that you can see in Teams Premium. So there's a lot of different features and it's difficult to really describe them in just one category. But broadly speaking, I would say there's a set of features that's to do with enhancing the experience or the security of meetings for your internal usership. And there's the aspect which is to do with the external customer facing stuff like virtual appointments and webinars. So one of the features is to do with meeting templates. If you have trouble with people setting up the right kind of settings for their meetings, then you can use meeting templates to help them with this. And instead of just having a drop down, which gives you the ability to create a meeting or create a webinar, you can have different options there and people can select based on the type of meeting they have. There are also additional capabilities to brand your meetings, to brand the lobby and to brand the meetings themselves. Uh, the lobby branding is there now, but there are additional features that are coming to branding um, later on, I believe in the next couple of months. AI is a big part of what is being added in Teams Premium. There's already been some AI related features that we've seen in Teams, but this is really stepping it up a gear. So you will be able to be helped in your productivity by getting intelligent outcomes from the meetings that you're attending. Things like action items, so that you can see what actions have been agreed from meetings, where your name has come up, a summary of meetings, an added ability to to search the transcript of your meeting. In addition to this, Teams is able to translate for you live into, I believe, 40 languages. Those who are interested in organizational security will also be very interested in Teams Premium because it helps you to make sure that you keep hold of your information. One of the fears I know people have with Teams is what if people are taking screenshots of the things that are being shared on screen? Would I even know that? Well, with watermarking, you would because every user gets an individual watermark for what is being shared or the video that they're seeing so that it doesn't stop something thing being shared, but at least you can track back where the item came from. You can also increase your ability to control your information with tools such as sensitivity labels. Virtual appointments is a wrapper around the Microsoft 365 Bookings app, but there are some additional features in Teams Premium that makes it even more useful. Things like SMS notification and other aspects like on-demand booking as opposed to making an appointment ahead of time. And lastly, there are enhancements to webinars. Webinars have been part of Microsoft Teams for quite a while, but there are some productivity enhancements that are coming to webinars to help you manage the experience of presenters, to manage what your guests can see on screen, and to help you stay connected with your attendees. Now, as I've said, there are certain features here that are already live in Teams Premium, and there are some that will be coming later. So it can be a little bit confusing Confusing as to what is here now and for that I would recommend taking a look at the product announcement and this gives you a bit more detailed information about each of these different aspects of the product and if they're not being released at the start right now then you can see when they're likely to come. If this video adds value for you please do click the like button and if you're interested in seeing more content like this on digital transformation for small businesses Microsoft 3 365 and the Microsoft Power Platform, then please do subscribe to the channel. Now let's take a look at how you can get Teams Premium added to your tenant if you're an administrator for your Microsoft 365 instance. So if you want to try out Teams Premium, um, there is a trial that you can use to do this. Um, so if you come to the Teams Premium product page, you can actually click on this try for free button and it'll take you to a sign in page to get started for your one month trial. However, unlike a lot of other trials that end users can implement directly. Um, this does need an administrative account. Alternatively, 
uh, you can come over to your admin center and you can go to purchase services. And if you type in a search for Teams Premium, you can see that you get Teams Premium here and there is a trial available. If you jump into the details of that, you can actually see that right now there are some pretty good deals going on adding Teams Premium to your tenant, right the way up to adding it for three years at a promotional price that I think is equivalent to the $7 a month. So we're just gonna go ahead with our one month trial. We're gonna select that here and start a free trial on this tenant. So as soon as you complete your order, if you look at your products page, you'll see that you have Teams Premium here, and you can jump back to your users. You can allocate that license. And let's take a look at what items this adds. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of individual products that are added by the Teams Premium license. And so normally, what you're able to do here is to turn on and off particular apps. So here you are able to activate and deactivate certain features of Teams Premium through using this app assignment. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save this. And you can see I now have Microsoft Teams Premium assigned to this user. Back when Teams Premium was announced, I made this video looking at an overview of it. Certainly a little has changed in the interim from that initial announcement, but I stand by my assessment that there's going to be a lot of organisations that will derive some value from this package of features, but that it's such a mixture that few will see value in all of them. Is Teams Premium worth the $10 per month expense to your organisation? Well that's up to you, but look out for other videos from me on this topic that will help to guide you on how to get the best out of this package.